How's it going, guys? So, with RuneScape Mobile coming out on Tuesday the 29th, I thought that I'd bring you a video just going over things that are worth knowing in RuneScape Mobile. And so, that way, when you get the app, then you'll be able to go in and you'll have an idea of what's going on and it won't be as confusing. So, this video is going to be the top things to know about RuneScape Mobile. Hopefully, they do help you out. If so, then make sure you do like and subscribe and let's just get straight into it. So the first thing that I would probably want you guys to know about RuneScape Mobile is it's actually the full PC version of the game on your mobile phone. So that means if you log in on the PC, make an account and do any sort of progress whatsoever, if you then log off and log in on your phone with the same login details, then you'll be the exact same place and you'll be able to do absolutely anything from your mobile phone that you can do on the PC. I just wanted to stress the point that actually even though people will say to you, don't try and do this when you're on your mobile phone, that you can actually still do the full game. Don't sort of think that you're not going to be able to go and do bosses and stuff, because as you can see from some of my past videos, you can definitely do bossing from your mobile phone. So don't sort of write it off as just a skilling app that you're going to come on and make a little bit of money here and there, because it's definitely still worth the time putting in to learn to do bosses on it and combat on it because if you're out and about and you've got a spare half an hour you sat waiting for an appointment somewhere you could just be making cash so you might as well do it and you know just stop wasting that time jx are going to want you guys to be able to make a full account on this from mobile and then progress through and play the whole game so even if there is bits that don't sort of line up at the moment like the health bars overlapping with the buff bars and stuff they will be fixing that because they're going to want people who haven't played the game to start playing it from mobile and to actually stick around and keep playing that way they're going to be able to increase the player count for the game and keep it alive my second useful thing to know is actually going to be being a little bit familiar with the UI and how it's all sort of set up. That way when you come in you're not sort of looking for things going, ah, oh, how do I actually find this and where's my combat hidden and all that sort of good stuff. So I'm going to go over that with you now and we'll take a look at the few most important bits about the interface so you know where everything's hidden. So the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is the ribbon on the right hand side this is probably going to be the most important bit for me to talk about just because it's where all your icons are and you can customize this so yours might look slightly different to mine you see i've got the backpack worn equipment skills and a few other ones that i'm not going to obviously list through every single one of them but this is where you're going to have access to pretty much all of your most important icons now like i say this can be changed but you are probably going to want to set this up in a way that when you are doing whatever you want to be doing in the game that it suits you at that time so for example i do quite a lot of bossing on runescape mobile so i do have like my abilities my prayers and my defensives sort of there easily to access and that just makes it a hell of a lot easier and more convenient for me but also just above the backpack you do have your home teleport button so you can see there just press that all comes up full screen close that off and then you've got your map just above that in that little icon it does come out in a rectangle it's a bit a bit crappy to be honest but that's what you've been given. Hopefully they do fix that. And then above that is the world map. Click that and it does open up quite nicely. And you can move it around just like in the main game. The ribbon can be customized by going into the main menu button, which I will talk about next anyway. So the top left corner on the screen, you can see the house button. If you press that, that brings up your main menu. We'll go over this shortly on everything in here. But to customize your ribbon, click the three line menu button in the top right corner of your screen. And then go down to the ribbon icon. Click that. And you can see here, you can see action windows and ribbon bar displays up to seven icons. So if you drag anything down to there, the first seven icons on that will be what you've got on the actual game. So if you can change that around to suit whatever you're doing, if you're doing skilling, then you might want to have like your skills there so you can see your XP rates. If you're doing bossing, then like I say, having like your defensives available, your prayers for switching and it's maybe your familiar options so you can bring food out of your familiar quite easily then that's probably the way to go but adjust this based on how you're going to be playing the game and it'll make your life a hell of a lot easier so going back to the main menu if you look in the top left corner of your screen and press that home button that's going to bring up your big main menu and in here there's going to be all sorts of different icons you're going to see a big welcome to runescape banner and just above that is the first place we're going to be looking you're going to see your coin pouch amount of money that you're carrying at the moment and then next to that is your three sort of treasure hunter and solomon store stuff so credits for solomon store how many keys you've got and how many bonds you carry in then on the right hand side of that 
just as we saw before, is the three button menu icon sort of thing. And then you can access your rune metrics and all the world changing and just the settings, that sort of stuff from there. On the left hand side, you can see we've got four different icons all inside big circles going downwards. The first one is to access your treasure hunter. The second one is to access your wardrobe for all your cosmetics to change how your character looks, access your pets, all that sort of stuff. The next one opens up where you can sort of access your bonds, access treasure hunter and also access the Solomon store. And then below that is your community tab. And inside there, you're going to be able to vote on polls, look at the high scores and do your grouping systems, all that sort of stuff. The last three things that we really need to look at is the powers, hero and adventures tab. So if we click on the powers tab, it comes up with all your abilities. Here you could slot all your sort of combat skills, um, but we'll come back and go over that soon. Close that off and then you'll see the hero tab if you click on that. And that's going to open up sort of your loadout of all your items that you're wearing and the backpack you can also look at your skills and achievements in here then the next tab for adventurers is where you're going to find your quests challenges mini games and all your activity tracker sort of stuff so you can find all that in here as well the only other thing to mention would be the settings window and well really if you're enjoying runescape or not so if we click onto the settings window it's just exactly like the main client on the pc you can see there's the gameplay options here for all the different things and then the graphics and the audio that you can go through. So that's pretty much it for the main menu. Once you have an understanding of what all the icons are, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. The last couple of things that I just wanted to talk about for the interface was where your chat window is hidden. So you can see just below the home button, there is a little mailing icon. If you click on that, it'll open up your chat window. You do get some icons inside there and I will be going over those soon. But below that on the bottom left corner is where your combat is hidden. If you click that little sword, It'll pop up and it'll give you your abilities that you can use and slot. And we will be going over that in a separate part of the video as well. The next quick thing that I wanted to let you guys know is you'll notice in the inventory, there is no more um, price checker or coin pouch in here. For some unknown reason, they did decide to move that. And I just really couldn't understand why. So I, it took me a while to find it. But you're going to want to go down to your worn equipment. And then go to view worn equipment stats. When you're in there, you get your backpack back up. Scroll down to the bottom and everything's there again. So your invention materials, currency pouch, all that stuff. And your price checker is just at the bottom. If you click on that, it'll then bring up another window. And you can price check anything there. And obviously, you still get your options to go from High Alc and Grand Exchange. So that's where that's hidden. Don't ask why. Not a clue. But that's where it is. So moving on, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is actually going to be how to access your second ribbon. Now by that, what I mean is on the right hand side, all the icons can be changed. This is just basically to give you access to all your chats, like your group chat, clan chat, all that stuff. So what you're going to want to do is click on the chat window and then click on the third icon down. That will then change on the right hand side. You can see everything is now changed to a private chat, the friends chat and the clan chat emotes and then your grouping you can't really change these i think you can change the bottom one being your notes but other than that you do have to keep them the same to change this back to the original ribbon all you're going to want to do is click the same icon once again and you can see on the right hand side it's now changed back to exactly how we started so close away your chat window and you're good to go The next thing and possibly one of the most important things to actually go over is going to be the combat. So it's going to be slotting your abilities, how to put things on the bars and just a quick look at the best way to do combat on RuneScape Mobile. So in the bottom left corner of your screen, you are going to have that little sword icon. If you press that, it comes up again with three other buttons. So if you look at the top, you've got a little recycling button. If you click that, it will rotate your manual bars around on the right hand side to the left. And then you've also got just below that a number eight. If you move that, you get all your different action bars that you can select from. So if you have them all set up to suit different bosses, you can switch them quite easily. Then below that, you do have your settings wheel. If you open that up, this is where you're going to be doing most of your sort of customization anyway. So in here, you can see you've got your abilities, spells, and prayers. What this is going to allow you to do is slot all of your different abilities in to your full manual bar. And then this will allow you a lot better control and access when you are trying to do PVM. It does get quite confusing, but what I would recommend you guys do is have your full manual bars there. But 
also have the revolution bar set up. So you're going to want to come to combat settings and then in here make sure you do have revolution active. You can change the revolution bar size to whatever size you want, whichever suits you. But once you've got that, you'll see in the middle of the screen that you do have all of your revolution abilities there and that's going to use your basic abilities for you and then you can have the full manual bar at the top to use your threshold abilities defensive abilities food and prayer switching and this will make combat a hell of a lot easier for you now to slot abilities like i say come back into the settings thing and just literally drag the icons from the abilities on the left onto your bar you'll see the first ability now changes into the flurry that i've just put on nice and easy what you're going to be able to do here is if you look at the bottom, you can see your revolution bars there. So if you pick here, you can change that and that will allow you to edit your revolution bar. But then if you click the other one here on the left, this will change your full manual bars and then you can edit that as well. So there's quite a lot of customization and you can in this window add the prayers to it. But you're not going to be able to add things like items and food. To do that, what I would say to do is come here to the main screen rotate it to whichever side you want to have on the left where you want to slot them and then from your inventory literally just drag any items across from there onto the bar nice and easy and you can literally customize that however you want you can put on anything on this bar that you'd be able to put on there from the main client and everything else works just exactly the same so just for a quick example of how the combat could work having your revolution bar active you can see my basic abilities are just being done all by themselves nothing for me to worry about nothing more to press and then you'll also notice that on my full manual bars i do have some defensive abilities and my food so if i want to put on prayers i can literally just do that and it gives me the complete options to do that without opening too many more windows but if i then want to use defensive i can put my shield on here and then my other ability is just there and it just allows you to do the defensives that you're going to need in fights like Araxor. Or even if you really want to go and try and do Telos, then you can do that here. Just makes life a hell of a lot easier. And this is how I would recommend trying to do PVM on RuneScape Mobile. The final thing that I wanted to just let you guys know is, unfortunately, if you are on iPhone, then that, like I say, is a little unfortunate because... The release is only currently going to be for Android and also for members only. So if you are wanting to play this and you do have an iPhone, then you aren't going to be able to do that until a later date. Also, if you are wanting to try it but don't have a member's account, I would recommend probably going on and setting one of those up ready. And that way you can download it and jump straight in. There isn't going to be a limit for this. As long as you have an Android device, you can go on, download the app on Tuesday the 29th and you'll be able to play it. Assuming that there's no issues when they actually try and release this, there could be a lot of people trying to download it at the same time, so it might sort of delay it a little bit, but hopefully not, and hopefully this is going to bring a hell of a lot more players to the game and try and revive the population just a little bit. So that is going to be the last of the things I wanted to mention for this video. If any of you guys watching have any other suggestions that people might need to know or just might help them out knowing, then put it in the comment section below. People will read it. If there's any really good ones, then I'll pin it to the top so everyone will see it. And I do appreciate all of you guys spending your time watching this video. If it did help you out, if you learned anything whatsoever, then make sure you do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.